So hi and welcome to the third stage of the tutorial. Now uh, in the first two stages we did the model. In the first stage we did the main body of the missile. In the second stage we did some more details and also the inside uh, where are the smaller missiles. And in this stage or part we are going to do the textures and rendering and probably some post-production uh, post Photoshop. So, uh, first of all, uh, we are going to create the textures from scratch. Now, if you remember the reference, which I'm now holding in my hand, I had there some notes like, you should go sell me yellow stripe and stuff like that. So, I will keep uh, this, but uh, probably I will do there a bit more than just a blank texture and just two yellow stripes. So. Uh, before I jump to Photoshop, I would like to divide the model. Now, uh, we'll be using UV map for this, but not for everything. <coughs> so actually, we'll do uh, the UV maps just for the main body and the rest. I think it will be fine just uh, applying some box texturing or something like that. So, I don't know so far. Uh, we'll see. But uh, first of all, I will as I said, uh, divide this into material groups and um, stuff like that. So let's go to perspective mode. Now, uh, first of all, I will uh, focus on the main missile. So I'll select that, hide unselected, delete this. <coughs> and let's see. Now, uh, the main body is clear, but uh, still, we have here some parts which are not. Uh, in the main texture, so li like this, the exhaust here, the front, where is the camera here, should go just glass, and also this inside, and just some parts. So let's go and divide this now. I will also jump to Material Editor just by pressing M and uh, select some blank slot, let's say this one, and I will apply here the multi sub object material. I will call this uh, missile main, and I will place here every time a standard material. I'll change this and name it, so I know uh, what uh, ID is for what. This probably a bit helped me to know where to apply which texture because I know after I divide this and then do the textures, I will not remember what is what. So. Uh, just for the beginning. Okay, so here we go with the main body. So let's go to poly mode, control A. I will set this ID to 1. Now this is not everything, so I will name this like uh, main texture. Okay, I will copy this here. Anyway, I will change the name. And let's go to the front. Not only front view, but also front of the missile now. This is the front where is the camera. So I will select all this here. Uh, <coughs> set the ID to 2. And name this camera front. Now I know here, here should go some glass or some transparent material. Uh, where we'll see the inside of the missile. Or s something like semi-transparent. Well, we'll see. What will look better? <coughs> okay, now now we'll go to perspective and select these small wings here, the front wings. Now here, uh, here I don't know. Maybe I will do the same texture like I do for the main body. Maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure, but it will be nice to divide this too. So select it like this, and we will just grow the selection until this. <coughs> and give us the tree. So again, standard, and let's name this front wings. Now select this one here and this one. Now grow that. Now we'll see how far. <coughs> Okay, a bit more. Oh, a bit less. 
like this it should be fine. So right now we should have selected this inside. Now this inside I would like to have in black, not like the texture uh, which will be on the main missile. So let's go with the fort. <coughs> Again standard, and I will name this inside. So I think I will know what it is. So we have this. Now we have the second wings, the back wings. So select them too. In the front view, back view. Oops. Not this one. Okay, so this will be the fifth. Now let's go name this the back wings. And the last part is the exhaust here. Now this will be probably just a poo metal here. So select the vert here, control poly, and again grow the selection. And we will grow this <coughs> Yeah, until here. So this will be the sixth. So again standard and exhaust. Okay, so now I know that I need just six of them, and I'm pretty sure that I know how I divided them because I used this small trick here. Okay, we have the main missile now. Uh, we can unhide all, we can keep the background, also the camera. <coughs> and now let's look. Uh, all the X on this. So this camera inside will be separate textures. We could uh, or we will use something from uh, our material library. So there will be some glass, there will be some black metal and the uh, black plastic and stuff like that. So no problem here. Now this will be pure metal, the bolts or the screws. That's fine. Uh, here again, he'll be probably just some metal and some plastic here and here also tiny screws, no problem, again screws, uh, the same here, uh, here will be a texture of course, <coughs> but um, yeah, here will be texture and I think it's, oops, no, there are polys from back, I don't know why, so uh, I will create again multi sub object material. I will call this the name shield name shield set number just for two and uh, standard I will call this name and here I will call this the rest. I'll go here to poly, select uh, the front, <coughs> I can go one grow here, it will be the ID1, and if we go to edit and select invert, this will be the second. So. Okay, so here will go the name shield and the rest will be probably a black texture or something. Again, I'm not sure. <coughs> okay, now let's go here to the covers. Now, <coughs> no, sorry for that. Uh, here will be the same texture on all four. Uh, so it will be Probably similar to this, to yeah, it have to be similar to that, of course, because it have to match this one. But uh, it will be just from outside. From inside, uh, it will be again uh, some black material. So I will just delete that. The trigger one because we don't need that so far. And 
Right now I need to select the top of this. Now how to select this very fast? Could try to... Oops. Okay, let's go first with this one. Uh, ignore my back facing, so... Could try to select it like that. Yeah, it was working, so uh, more or less. So here we will apply our texture. I don't know why it's here. Uh, no, it's selected. But not here. Why well, it's not selected here? So let's try glue and shrink. Okay, it's selected there and there. So everything is selected here. So again, here will be the main texture. So again, I will create here a multi sub object material. Mm, set number to two. I know there will be just two materials now. This will be again a standard. And I will name this the cover. This will call the missile cover. Oops. And the second one will be again the rest. Maybe again some black texture which will be here uh, inside. So let's go to the top. So this will be ID1, select invert, and this will be ID2. Okay, very simple. Now let's just check if it's okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we have this one. Now, we will have two different missile cars. Now, uh, there will be one texture with a yellow stripe which will go here, somewhere. Yeah, here. <coughs> but also, uh, there will be a, a name or some, some text here. And I don't want that the text will be everywhere. To, to make any sense that the same uh, text will be here, here, here. So I will do uh, one texture like bl blank, you know, without the text, and one with the text. Uh, we will need there some proportion for this, but I think this will be fine. Okay, anyway, we have here the first one. Now, this is missile cover. Uh, I will copy that, call it missile cover 2. Also, I will rename this traverse two, and I don't want to copy that, so I will do the same which I did here. So I will select this. I will grow and shrink once. I will check if everything is selected uh, what I want. Yeah, it is. So again, I will set the one ID in with that. And select the ID two. Okay, just for sure one more time. So this is one, this is two. Now let's do it also here. Now we're also going from the front view here, so let's go from the back view. Again, we will we should have the same results. So ignore back facing, select, turn it off, grow and shrink, set ID one. I'm not checking that anymore because it was working twice. Why it shouldn't work uh, the third time? <coughs> you see. And one more time, oops, my bad. Perspective, back view. And this is the last one. So ignore back facing one more time. Select, go on, shrink, set ID one, edit, select invert. So pretty easy. Select ID two. Okay, so we have the covers covered. Cool. <coughs> Now, we have here this stuff. Now, this will be pretty easy to 
texture because uh, there will be just black textures and plastic textures and nothing more. I don't want to do there any colors or stuff like that. So we don't need this. And uh, at last we have this. Two objects selected. Okay, just one. Uh, now this one. I think for this one will be enough if we apply just texture like cool. We will uh, just put on that some texture, but still hide unselected and let's see. Now uh, I don't want to give there just one texture. Now let's look on my papers here. Probably some stripe or some black segment should be there. So I will create again a multi sub object material. Call this missile small and oh, we can delete that one more time. And let's see. Control A will be the main texture, so I will crop here a just standard material and call it main. Now this here and the front, which I will look in a second, should be a different color. Oops. Let's do the first the second. And mm, this will be no, I will say second material. Now we have the main material, the second material. Now let's see. Exhaust should be there. <coughs> so, oops. Control poly, of course. This I will stop here. One step back. So this will be the exhaust, this will be the third. Now let's go here and from standard we'll name this exhaust. And let's look a bit more. The main, we have that. Hmm. I don't know if to divide anything else. Probably some small texture should be there, but that should be the all. Okay, so I think we are done here. So we will need just three IDs. It should be enough. We can unhide all and check if we covered everything. Probably yes. Uh, <coughs> we'll be first texturing, then applying the Trubus modifier on that. And this will be everywhere. I hope that it will not do anything bad there, but uh, I, hope, I hope so not. Okay, so uh, how it will be textured? Now, uh, I was looking for some pictures of the of the missile, which was the concept of this, so the Hellfire missile. And it's just one color, one texture, probably with some text and probably one stripe. So nothing hard to do, very easy. But I would like to give them a bit more. Uh, I would like to place there some pattern. Of course, the missile should be like not to see from a distance of one kilometer, no, one click. Sorry for that. But uh, still, it should be uh, nice. So uh, I will keep this in mind and try to form the texture to that. So, uh, but before we start in Photoshop, we still need something. We need the UV map coordinates for the main texture. So let's apply on this above. 
totally select click select as you can see just the one and uh, let's go here and order a UV let's go to the face mode cylinder and fit is in X axis you see you will have just like this now if we open the UV editor we'll got something like this uh, this is looking pretty strange but you can see here the holes here too very small hard to see but they are there so uh, if you will cut uh, this here in half or just make a cut and about this up you'll get something like this so this is exactly what I want to use for the texturing now we'll scale this probably a bit just to fit uh, our texture Oops. Oops. Ah, uh, my bad. Yep. No, something like that. Okay. Okay, select everything. Let's go to this modifier and. Ah. Let's go back. Once the back and turn this off. So we'll just scale that. That will fit here. Okay, now it should be fine. So we we'll just move it a bit. Now we can also look what is what. So if we select this, uh, there should be somewhere here to see. Oh, it's some somewhere here. Also, uh, some important parts here are the yellow stripes. Now, here should go one, <coughs> I think. Yeah, there should be something, and in the back should be one. Now, how to know what is what? It's not so easy to to see, but. No, it's impossible to see here more or less but here you can see uh, a lot of a lot of uh, faces here or edges so if you select this one or better if you go to front view here let's go to the face mode and select this one you'll see that it's this one here near the near the place where the edges are it's very simple to to find and here will be the same now if we select this one uh go with these ones yeah we have uh back racing so you will see that it's here. You see? So here she should go does the yellow stripe. Uh, very simple to do. So uh, to the rest there will go uh, a texture. Here where is the whole art of wings we can do there some soft texture. But uh, this will be the uh, our out outgoing point to know where should go what. So very simple. Now uh, let's go to tools. We will render this UV template. Yeah, I will do it twice a big. So <laughs> this should be enough. We hope. And we will render that. Should render and disappear. Okay. Now it's here, so I will copy that. Many times I will click on that just for sure. Go here to Photoshop. I will he uh, I will have I have here already some textures. Let's go to new. It's too small, so it wasn't copied. Now this is sometimes an issue. 
Oh, Warzel. Okay. It don't want to copy me the whole image. No. Now it's one to one. I hope it will not do just a screenshot of that. Of course it's doing just a screenshot. So, okay, I need to save this. Oh, you need to save this too. But anyway, uh, let's look on that one more time. <coughs> now we can see uh, the edges around. So here is a bunch of edges. Somewhere here is the first stripe. Also, we will just sometimes jump here to to see uh, where it uh, where it should be. So don't worry about that. Okay, nothing. So uh, just like this looks in a UV map. Okay, very simple. Oops, oops, oops. So, uh, I will also stop here, just save the map somewhere, and I will continue in the next part after probably I drink some coffee. And in the next part, we'll start to do the textures. So, we'll start to do the textures from these metal aircraft panels, which I found, and also this one. So, we will have some real world textures uh, which we will use. So. So far, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next part. Bye bye.